Hello everyone, how are you? It's nice to see you here. And if you can see, I've grown a beard. It's longer now, but I like it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is like you study together for this week or maybe next week. I hope you're enjoying staying at home and I hope that your family is also happy with you staying at home. I hope that you're really helping giving a hand at home. That's what you have to do. I really miss you a lot and uh, I'll be w recording some videos for you on how to you know work with the books and uh, you know we can you can listen to me you can also send me your videos if you want to say anything to me so yes let's give our communication by using audio and video we can practice more english this way and uh, what i'm gonna do in this video today is that i'm gonna be teaching you one page from our book guess what okay uh, you know we previously worked on unit number six we'll be repeating this page for today we'll be talking about it we'll talk about things that you have to do at home okay and when I say you have to then it means it's important it's your job okay and what else do we have to do today in, the, in today's lesson we're gonna go to the activity book in the second part of the lesson and I'm gonna ask you to go to a page I think the page is gonna be 56 this page in here so what you can do I'm gonna be showing you in the video what to do in this page okay and right at the bottom you can see here it says go to page 90 I think so you're gonna do some things on this page okay so I'm gonna be asking you to go to that page which is going to be here where you have to do something I will explain in the video all right okay so I miss you all I know you miss school but we have to stay at home that's what we have to do and I hope you're doing good I'm also staying at home I'll be posting the video for this lesson on my YouTube channel. I'll send you the link to watch a lesson on YouTube. It's going to be much easier for you than uploading the whole video on um, the Google Classroom. And please, if you have any problems on Google Classroom, do not hesitate to ask me or a Nurgle teacher. We know very well about it now. We can help you if you have any problems concerning the homework. Some of you are, are doing very good by doing the homework online on the Google Classroom. And it's really good. I love that website. I think we should continue using this website even after we go back to school. Okay, so uh, if you have any problems on Google Classroom, just let me know. And uh, if you have any problems watching the video, uh, that I am posting please let me know and of course when you watch my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel support me I'm also going to be posting some other teaching videos and uh, you will learn more English from my channel it's time to stay at home you can learn a lot I'm also staying at home I'm not only preparing lessons I'm doing things for myself too I'm taking some online classes, some of them I paid money, some of them are free. I'm making myself a better teacher, that's what I want. And um, I wish you all the best of luck. So do your best, work hard, it's going to get better soon. Uh, it's, this will be going and let's start with the lesson. Let's go. Come on. So we're gonna start now with our first online lesson for this week. Uh, we're going for the book. Guess what? Uh, pupil book, not the activity book. And we're gonna start with the first page. The page is number seventy. And I have a question for you. The first question says, "What can you do to help at home?" 
boys and girls of course you can help your mom and dad at home sometimes you do your own jobs at home so what is your real job yes you are a student you have to study you have to work hard because you have a bright future coming up but what can you do at home to help your family can you cook maybe can you clean the house can you mop the floor do you take the rubbish out um, can you really feed the cat feed the dog can you water the plants okay I think you can do a lot of stuff okay so let's get started for the f for first for the first thing now uh, we're gonna have a conversation between a teacher and a student and another student okay so we will listen to the conversation and then I'm gonna ask you some questions so what I want you to do is to keep looking at the pictures you see in front of you and I'm gonna read a dialogue for you teacher says these children are helping at home do you help at home what do you do Carla Carla says well I tidy my bedroom and I make my bed teacher says good Emma says and I cook dinner teacher says wow how often do you cook dinner Emma Emma says sometimes my dad helps me and my brother lays the table teacher says that's good what about you Carla Carla says well I always dry the dishes and sometimes I sweep the floor teacher says and do you sweep the floor Emma Emma answers no I don't but sometimes I clean the bathroom teacher says what about washing your clothes do you wash your clothes Carla Carla answers no I don't my parents wash our clothes but I put the rubbish out teacher says how often do you put the rubbish out Carla says every day teacher says good what else do you do Emma Emma answers I water the plants that's an easy job okay now that's good I think you've listened enough to this very beautiful conversation between the teacher Emma and Carla now what we're going to do is that we're gonna look at the pictures and I want you to try to match the pictures 1 to 10 with the letters and the jobs A to J okay so what I want you to do is to pause the video which means stop the video stop watching the video take your book and a pencil and try to match the pictures and the letters which are the jobs that you do at home okay and I'm going to give you five minutes for this okay let's go it's time starts now okay so you're back now so what we're gonna do together is that we're going to check the answers for the question this is question number two okay so who's gonna give me an answer for number one what is job number one what is she doing in number one what is she doing yes she's tidying my bedroom so the correct answer is H one H tidy my bedroom okay that's very good good answer so let's go for the second one number two what is she doing in picture number two 
Did you match it well? Okay. The correct answer is make my bed. Make my bed. Okay, now number three. What about picture number three? What do you think is the correct answer? Okay, that's correct. Number three is B, cook dinner. Bravo. Okay, let's go to number four now. What is the answer for picture number four? Which letter? Okay, it's letter D, lay the table. Do you lay the table? Do you help your mom and lay the table? Yeah, I know some of you do that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Picture number five. What is he doing in picture number five? Which letter? So, picture number five is C. Dry the dishes. This is what you do after you clean the dishes, after you wash the dishes. You dry them. All right, that's very good. Let's go to picture number six now. What is the boy doing in front of the house in picture number six? Yes, the correct answer is G. Sweep the floor. You don't use water to sweep the floor. You just sweep the floor. Okay. Number seven. Picture number seven. What is the correct answer? All right. Yes, that's correct. Picture number seven is A. Clean the bathroom. That's a pretty tough job. Okay. Leave it for the elderly. Leave it for older people. Okay. Don't do that. Not now. Okay. What about picture eight? What is the boy doing in picture number eight? That's correct. Correct answer is I. Wash my clothes. Wash my clothes. Okay. What about picture number nine? Okay. The correct answer is F. Put the rubbish out. Do you put the rubbish out? I know you do. Okay. And the last one, number 10. What is number 10? What is picture number 10? Correct answer is J. Wow, good. I did that. I did that. Yes, that's very easy for me. J, what are the plants? Have you got plants at home? In your yard? In the garden? On the balcony? Maybe outside the window? Yeah, I've got a lot of plants at home. Okay. Do you water the plants? That's an easy job. Okay. That's good. What we're going to do now is I'm going to repeat all the jobs for you. And I want you to repeat after me so that we can pronounce these jobs and these words in a perfect way. Are you ready? Okay. For number one, what is he doing in number one? Are you following? I've got no answers. Okay, so number one, tidy my bedroom, tidy my bedroom. Number two, make my bed, make my bed. Number three, cook dinner, cook dinner number four lay the table lay the table number five dry the dishes dry the dishes okay number six sweep the floor sweep 
the floor. Number seven, clean the bathroom. Clean the bathroom. Number eight, wash my clothes. Wash my clothes. Okay, and number nine. Put the rubbish out. Put the rubbish out. And the last one, number 10. Water the plants. Water the plants. Great. You're doing very, very good now. And my next question comes to you now. So I want you to take the question and try to ask somebody in your family okay try to make a little conversation with someone in your family by using this question the question is how often do you help at home if the answer is yes i help at, i usually help at home you can say for example you can follow up with another question that says so what do you do at home what do you do to help at home. Okay. So the question is, how often do you help at home? And what do you do to help at home? Okay, now we're going to go for another part and we will check together some other jobs that you can do at home. Are you ready for that? Okay, let's do it. Welcome everyone to continue our lesson now uh, welcome everyone to continue our lesson now so we're gonna talk about household chores so the jobs that you usually do at home to help at home are called chores chores household chores now you can see here in this picture that everybody is helping at home the mom the dad and the son and the daughter or brother and sister okay so our question is, what do you have to do at home? Okay, do you have a special job? Do you have a job that you have to do? It's important for you to do at home. Does your mom or dad tell you to do something like it's your job? Okay, think about this question until we finish this slide, slide lesson. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Jobs at home, household chores. The first one is going to be clean out the closet. Do you have to clean out the closet? A closet is a place where you keep your clothes, bags, maybe shoes, socks, everything you put on is called closet or wardrobe. Okay, so do you have to clean out your closet? I think you have to, right? Okay, the next one is clean up the yard. Yard means garden. So, do you have to clean up the yard? Do you have a garden? A balcony? Do you have to clean up? Okay. The other one is, drop off the dry cleaning. Well, I don't usually drop my clothes off the dry cleaning. I don't usually go there. I do wash my clothes at home. But some busy people can't have the time to wash their clothes at home so they drop off the dry cleaning okay do you have to do that or not the next one is hang up the clothes that's exactly the thing that you do after you wash the clothes so you wash the clothes take them out of the washing machine and hang them up hang up the clothes do you have to do this at home is it your job? It might be. The next one is pick up the magazines, magazines or newspapers. Yes, do you like reading? Because I do. I love reading very much, especially magazines. I have a very nice set of magazines at home. Do you like reading magazines? Do you pick up the magazines from the news agents do you have to 
The next one is put away the dishes. Oops, he doesn't look like an adult here. It looks like a little child like you is putting away the dishes. Do you have to put away the dishes? Let's see. Take out the garbage. Do you have to take out the garbage or the rubbish or the trash? It's all the same. Wipe off the counter. What is a counter? A counter is a place that you have in the kitchen next to the basin or next to the oven or next to the cooker where you usually put your stuff while cooking and working in the kitchen. Okay? So, but it gets dirty. So much. A lot. So to say. Do you have to wipe off the counter? Which means clean the counter. Do you have to? So we have a list of household chores now. Let's repeat together. So first one is wipe off the counter. Take out the garbage. Put away the, dish the dishes. Clean out the closet. Clean up the yard. Drop off the dry cleaning. Pick up the magazines. Hang up the clothes. Okay? That's good. You can pause the video now and try to repeat. Okay, let's go to another set of household chores. First one is wash the dishes. Okay, I have a question for you. What do you do after you wash the dishes? Huh? Yes, you dry the dishes. That's good, good job. Okay, so wash the dishes and dry the dishes after that. The next one is sweep the floor. My question is, do you use water when you sweep the floor? No, you don't. Okay, you can use water when you mop the floor. Okay, so sweep the floor. Mop the floor, yes. Do you have to mop the floor at home? Or you have to sweep the floor? Or you don't have to do that? Well, I don't have to do that. Vacuum the carpet. Well, yeah, we're using carpets in winter. Sometimes in, you know, all, for all the 12 months, we use carpet sometimes. So do you have to vacuum the carpet? Do you use a vacuum cleaner? Yes, you do. That's good. Okay. So I have to vacuum the carpet. Right after my lesson today, I have to do that. It's my job. I do this twice a week. Wash the dishes. Uh, sorry, wash the windows. Do you have to wash the windows? Do you have to clean the windows? Do you have to do that? I have to do that every now and then. Dust the furniture. Do you have to dust the furniture? Well, you have to do that a lot in summer. Wash the clothes. Do you have to wash the clothes? Yeah, I have to do that sometimes. Iron the clothes. Yeah, so you wash the clothes and then hang up the clothes until they dry and then you iron the clothes. Okay, you can iron them before going to school. Change the bed sheets. Yes, that's something you can do when you make the bed. Change the bed sheets. All right. Cook the meals. Do you have to cook the meals? Can you cook? Hmm. Set the table. Or we can also say lay the table. Do you have to lay the table? Well, I have to lay the table sometimes because I need to help at home. So do you help at home? Do you set the table with your mom? The next one is take out the trash. Well, I have to do this every day. I have to take out the trash at 7 o'clock in the evening. Do you, ha do you have to do that? Okay, so we've come now to the end of our slide lesson. And 
my advice to you is stay home and help at home. Yes, I know you have to do a lot of things now because you stay at home. See you.